The following is a conversation between Matthias De Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. The date is January 17th, 2021, and the subject is the emotional aspect of the root chakra in the sign of Capricorn. I am. Do you do what you like? Are you a slave to a system? Do you live under your own projections? Are you free? Me. Isn't work a contradiction to freedom? I am. Etymologically speaking, yes. Me. And historically? I am. Yes. Me. So. I am. The idea of work changed over time. It went from being animal torture to human torture to representing the labor of childbirth and then to describing the dignity of earning our daily bread. Until today, it is a synonym for well-being and success. It would be necessary to see from where you perceive the work. Me. Tell me, what is work really? I am. We will go through each of the aspects mentioned, keeping in mind that there are many ways to name this concept and many ways to interpret it as well. But let's understand the meanings of it. The word work comes from the Latin tripalu, that is to say, three sticks. These three wooden boards were placed in the shape of an X with an axis in the middle, like the letter J in Cyrillic. This was used as a tool for the blacksmiths who tied farm animals to carry out their tasks of changing horseshoes and cleaning the hooves of horses and cattle. In times of war, the tripalu were used to torture enemies, depriving them of their freedom. During the times of the empire, the tripalu was used as a method of imprisonment, punishment, to deprive those who thought differently of their freedom. It was a torture tool during the Inquisition. Me. I don't understand why in Spanish and other Latin languages we associate the word work with this torture tool. I am... Because before it wasn't. You can torture and kill someone with a knife, which doesn't mean that they were created for it. You use the knife to cut food, to cut things, and the fact that some use it to kill is different. A pen can also destroy lives, if you think about it in a broad sense, since the signature of many dictators has caused genocide. Me. Of course. We have taken the other route, the previous one, the blacksmiths. I am... Being a blacksmith was one of the most important trades in the, in the Roman age and the Middle Ages. Everyone had a tripalu in their forges, and everyone went to them. Shoemakers, jewelers, warriors, artisans, feudals, peasants. In a way, it was one of the most consulted trades. Me. Sure, they had a lot of work. I am. And it was hard work. A lot of effort, day by day to handle difficult elements, all the activities that imply doing with the hands, manufacturing, tilling the land in the field, producing with the hands, with the patience, the effort of manipulating the matter. This effort implies suffering, physical pain, and makes those who exert this daily pressure find themselves every day on the the verge of fainting, of falling, hanging by a thread at the end of the day, living on the edge of exhaustion just to survive. Latinos called this labor. Me. How come? I always thought that the positive option of work was labor. So it isn't? I am. Oh no, of course not. Labor comes from leb, which in Indo-European means to hang. The concept refers to that which is on the verge of falling, which is hanging by a thread, which can slip, slide, fall. Leb has given rise to words such as lapse, collapse, prolapse, and also lip and lobe. Thus, the verb that describes hanging by a thread, being on the verge of falling, fainting, would be labor, and the name that designates the concept of work is labor. Me. That's why it's called labor, because the woman suffers from the contractions and during the birth. I am... Unnecessarily, but yes, it does. Labor has brought us the idea of suffering, working the earth from sunup to sundown, 
something you call labrar, which would be suffering plowing, opening furrows of earth for the seeds. In Latin and Anglo-Saxon languages, the words labor, meaning labor, and trabajo, travail, refer to actions carried out with effort, suffering. Me, earning your bread with the sweat of your brow. I am. This concept was coined throughout humanity, in which to obtain resources you had to put a lot of physical force, what they called effort, which produces muscular contraction, and when said pressure ends and is relaxed, the sensation of pain. In English, the word job also designates situations of pain. From the religious point of view, Jacobo, Jacob, or Job, coming from the Hebrew name Yach, which in Latin you say Iagus, and which, when he became a saint, you recognize today as Santiago. Job became a synonym of martyrdom, of suffering to fulfill the work of God entrusted by Jesus on earth. His name is reminiscent of the effort to achieve something through constant pain. But in turn, it has many other shared etymologies. Me. No pain, no gain, they say out there. Which reminds me of exactly this. Without muscular effort, there was no food on the table. It was necessary to till the land to obtain food, toil to build a house, to face pain to create tools, and even to fight to survive and defend the achievements. I am. This is how labor and work became synonymous with success and security. Doing, doing, and doing over and over again is what gives us repetitive, enslaving, routine work, that is, work that rotates like a wheel. And here you will be surprised by other words that define this concept. The word to do comes from Indo-European de, which means to put or place, which gave the Latin dac or fac, which in Portuguese is fager, in French faire, in Italian fare, and to the Saxon languages, and Slavic du, in English du, in German tun, in Russian dielet. Although the word do in Indo-European was said in another way, werg, which defines an action. When the Indo-Europeans divided, some going to India and others to Central Europe, the latter converted the verb werg into three concepts. One Saxon, erb, which gave rise to arbeiten in German. Another Nordic, werk, which gave rise to work in English and another Greek, ergon, which gave rise to words like ergonomic. But on the Indian side, werg originated ker, which gave rise to the famous word karma. Me. Wow! Working is karma, and it is directly related to the very origin of the word. Karma means action. I am... As you will see, looking back in time, you discover that in reality everything is connected to the concept of action. Action comes from the word agere or ag, which means to move, to shake, and everything you do in your life is a movement, because the universe is constant movement. In said movement you have two options, to do it by the will of your spirit and for the pleasure of your creative being, or to do it by reaction, external impulse, pressure from the environment, condition of the environment, which inflicts force, suffering, pain. Me. Let's see. So, show me the two ways. I am. The best known path that everyone faces is the one that is conditioned by the environment that surrounds them. In the universe, everything is action. But when a being is unconscious or dominated by its subconscious, there is no action that arises from itself. Everything is done by reaction. He eats out of hunger, reproduces out of pleasure, farms out of necessity, works out of obligation. Everything he does is to survive, fit in, belong. The surroundings, family, society, beliefs, culture, nature, the environment, Everything around you is what drives you to action. Therefore, his acts are conditioned, controlled, 
manipulated by external factors. He is not free. This leads to conceiving the action as an expenditure of energy, and that energy is in the body, and to get it out, you have to force yourself, and force produces muscular pain. Me, yes, sub ferum, meaning suffering, and meaning under iron. I am. Thus, the cellular memory transfers this data to the brain, which interprets pain not only as something physical, but also as something emotional and psychological. Because of this, society begins to use labor as a synonym for punishment, slavery, service, forced labor. The same tools that people use to survive become tools of dominance and control, in which kingdom, feudal, empire and business systems use individuals to produce under pressure. And whoever doesn't is punished. How? With your own tools. Tripalu, tripalium, work, travail, the inquisition, torture and the concept of work as a form of oppression and punishment of the population arrived. Me. Wow, and what is the conscious path of this? I am. Let's go back to the beginning of the action. It can only be carried out by an original mind, a conscious being that decides to create a movement from point zero, without being a reaction to something previous, conditioned by previous experiences. It is a free mind which chooses its own path. That is, it is a creative being. For a conscious being, the concepts of work, effort, and labor do not make any sense, since nobody exerts pressure on himself. For a conscious being is a free artist, creator of magnificent works. The creation is a work of art, and whoever builds it is a worker. Obra is also known as opera, since the origin of the Indo-European word is op, which means to produce in abundance. In Latin, they call this opus. Thus, every worker in reality was an artist, creating, manifesting a work. Me. The conscious being does not suffer from work. It creates free works where it finds satisfaction. I am. Are you free or are you a slave? Me. I realize that I... I am a slave to my own projects, to my own intentions. Sometimes, instead of enjoying what I am creating, I feel the pressure to complete it just to take a load off my shoulders. Clearly, my subconscious continues to believe that if I don't work, if I don't feel the pressure, I'm not doing anything. Many times I feel useless, as if I lived by doing nothing, and I think of phrases that some people have said to me. When are you going to stop doing what you do and really work? Find yourself a decent job. Work like a normal person. Stop living off the story. And many times I believed that those phrases were the truth. I felt that if there was no effort or suffering, routine or feeling of slavery, it wasn't work. I remember my first partner. He said that the ideal for his mental health was to have a job eight hours a day, with a contract and established vacation days that give you the feeling that you have earned the break after a good job. Like a prize or a reward. It always seemed to me that that vision was like a donkey's carrot that did all the work, the effort, the suffering, just to savor a tiny, juicy, orange root. I came to think that the only form of realization would be that in this world. But no, I realized that no. So... I did something that was not right at all. I turned my own illusions into my work. I felt that I did what I wanted, that I chose, and therefore I was free. But all I did was decorate what I loved with work, with the intention of fitting into the system, being accepted and not believing that I lived off story, of the smoke, believing that this way he would have a job like the people. I am, but no. Me, no. That's exactly how everything went wrong. When I forced myself and suffered unnecessarily to do something that really passed through my heart for my freedom and creation. It was my work, and I made it my tree pallium. Today I am, day by day, little by little, 
taking up what I do as the work of an artist rather than the work of a missionary. The question is whether all humans can do the same because there are things that imply yes or yes, hard work. I am. What you see as hard work for another may be their liberation. What for you is freedom for another can be suffering. Each individual has a different way of applying his work in existence. And there are works for everyone. The mistake of this world is to force some to make the dreams of others. A world that awakens to being the creator of a child is a world that finds the work of an entire civilization that develops in the harmony of expansion and not in the survival of competition. Today, humanity continues to be a slave to work, as the system managed to make humans believe that work dignifies. Me. Is work not dignifying? I am. No. It is the work that dignifies. The hierarchical system built on the basis of survival and mistrust has made the population, individuals, believe that the way to be free is to earn one's own bread. Capitalism considers work as the only way to access resources and, and wealth through labor competition. Communism considers work as what dignifies a human being who generates things with his own hands but who obtains wealth from the hands of a state that chooses what he needs for him. Neither of the two systems incorporates the freedom of the creator. In both, the system turns individuals into slaves. But both have built the collective idea that only work gives dignity, since it is what allows you to get food for yourself. Me, it's the best slavery ever in which the feudal lord or king doesn't have to support the slaves because they themselves pay for their stuff. I am something like that, yes. But you cannot judge these systems as both are born from the vision of the unconscious individual through the vision of suffering to get food. Individuals are never subjugated by systems, but by their beliefs. Systems are the results of the ideas and beliefs of a collective of individuals. Me. How do I free myself from the work of this system? I am. Remembering that you are an unlimited creator, and what you do is your work, and your work is what gives you life. Me. But what if it doesn't work? I am. It won't be because you have to work, but because you have to find ways to create better. An artist doesn't stop because his first painting went wrong, an artist creates himself in each work. Me. And when do you give the last brushstroke? I am. When his work transcends himself, and thanks to it, everyone has remembered that they are also the creator. Me. I stop using the word work, labor. The key to my work lies in what I like and what gives me pleasure. Its transcendence occurs when it transcends me and is useful to others. I am. There you are free, and in that freedom, you free others. Release your holy trinity from the limiting bonds of the tree pallium. So, make your spirit, soul, and body discover what they are capable of creating, and in it you will be abundant. Me. Free yourself from the fruit of action. I am. Well, the fruit is the donkey's carrot, but the action is love.